segment I decided that I would attempt to make some donuts but rather than show you how I made them I just wanted to show you the actual donuts that I've made so I actually ended up making I've just lost one I actually ended up making quite a few donuts they are really nice they are all filled with jam I actually cannot wait to tuck in um, I'm just gonna grab the one that was lost but yeah if you do want to know how I made these donuts please feel free to check out the recipe that I'm going to link in the description and this will probably be added on to an extra video. So I hope you enjoyed and yeah, donuts! Hello there and welcome to my favourites video for April. I'm going to run you through some of the things I've recently had purchased and things that I just really like about this month. So I've made a few purchases online this month because obviously being in lockdown we're not actually able to physically go to like Primark and all that at the moment. So I've done a few online purchases and I'm going to share them with you. So this is my favourites for the month. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the jigsaws because they are the biggest things and it means the box will be half empty by the time I've finished. So I bought three jigsaws, as you may have seen in a previous video, um, but these were three for, I think they were about, I'm sure I paid about three, four pounds each. can't remember exactly how much I paid each, but they were definitely three to four pounds. It will be in the video that was before this one, so hopefully you will have seen that. Um, first one i'm trying not to get the glare um is a church kind of jigsaw which is a different kind of one for me i'm normally an animal kind of jigsaw but i did quite like the look of this one and all the colors were just really nice so i look forward to making this one this is only a 500 piece they are all 500 pieces the ones i bought from the works but i thought this would just be a good one to add to the collection so there is that one i also have this one again animal related but avoiding the glare where possible um i bought a wolf jigsaw so this has two wolves on it and it's just a nice little background scene there's a few ducks in the pond and that kind of thing there's a little hedgehog down there that i've just noticed so and a frog over here there's basically loads of different animals on this but for me it was the wolf part that really made me want it so this again was from the works and then the last one to show you is actually another animal it's a kitty cat in the garden i just thought that was quite a cute one so we've gone for that one as well so those three were from the works i'm just going to move them somewhere it's out of the way um i'm going to move on to books actually next because i purchased three books um two of these were actually from ebay so something i haven't really done in the past is bought things on ebay because I had a couple of occasions a while ago where things never showed up or they were the wrong items that kind of thing but going back from that, I purchased three three books, two of which are from eBay. The first one from eBay is this one. It's called Pants Are Everything. It's by Mark Lowry, who wrote a couple of books that I've read previously, like The Jam Donut That Ruined My Life and something else. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry about that. Um, next item is from Jacqueline Wilson. It's Vicky Angel, who I have read in the past. And I know Jacqueline Wilson is for some slightly younger audiences but I do really enjoy your books so to be honest you can read these at any age for me an age on a book is just ridiculous so anyway there is this one this one is actually signed so I wasn't expecting it when I ordered it um, but on the inside page can I show you that without the glare there you go that actually has been signed by her and I only paid I think they refunded me a bit because actually it turned up quite grubby so I did have to wipe it off with an antibacterial wipe just because it was so horrible when it actually got here but I did put you know I did put a bit of effort into sorting it out and I did clean it up so that was quite a good one to have I've just noticed there's actually a sticky patch on it so I will be cleaning that again but there's that one and then from Waterstones because I really wanted this just because it's the second book in the series the first book is Eve of Man and the second book is the Eve Eve Illusion. Um, I'm going to sit and read this at some stage this month, maybe next month. I do have a pile of books that I'm currently slowly working through, um, very slowly. And the two books that I bought from eBay are also going to be added to that pile. 
but I also got this one as a signed book just because it's by G and Tom and I haven't actually got a book signed by G and Tom together. I don't know if my other ones have been signed by Tom, I'm not sure if I've got a signed copy. But it does mean that I now have a signed one from both of them, which is very nice as well. So there's that one. Moving on from books, we have clothing. Let me put those somewhere where they may or may not attack me. So, you may or may not have seen, in a previous video I released merch. So this is actually one of the older designs. Um, it's had a bit of TLC since then. So this is one of my previous ones. The sleeves from Spreadshirt, I have mentioned this, you do have to stretch them a little bit. So I would suggest maybe buying the next size up just so that you get a bit more room. Because they are quite tight, these kind of t-shirts. Um, but there's that one. And then from Spreadshirt, I ordered the newer logo. So this logo actually came out quite a bit smaller. But I don't mind so much because it's just a nicer graphic. So this is just a plain black top. And then it's just got the HB logo in the middle. So that's very, very nice. It's a bit of a weirdy print, but I do think it looks really good. So that's my HB logo. And then it actually has my Twitch, if the sunlight isn't going to kill it. Um, it's got my Twitch link underneath as well. So there's that. And then I also purchased a beanie. So it is quite warm at the moment. So I will put it on, but just for a few moments. But I also bought the beanie with my logo on. So if I decide to go walking in the winter and I want to keep my ears warm we can wear a beanie so yeah quite a nice and you can fold it up as well so if it's too long for you you can tuck it up a bit so there we go HB beanie that's for you to enjoy if you do decide to order one um, I've also added some baby kind of clothes so if anybody would like to you can purchase some baby items as well and I'm going to move on to stationery and extras. Um, so, in here, I have been attempting to add badges to my guide blanket. And I did have some previous badges that I seem to have misplaced. So I've managed to find some more that I've been able to order. Um, I also have badges like Big Gig. Um, I've got 2009 Big Gig badge. That was something I've misplaced. I'm not sure where that's gone, so I've bought a new one. Um, they also do a bushfire crisis for the Australia, so I decided to get that to remind me in the future that that happened. Um, and things like Prince Harry Royal Wedding. Um, so those were from eBay as well. I'm just checking that nothing else is in there. Um, I've said this in a previous video, damp traps are amazing in the wardrobe. My wardrobe in my bedroom gets slightly damp at the very back of it. I have been taking measures to completely clean it and things but these are just good to have in your wardrobe just for any moisture that does appear because in some wardrobes it does happen so that's one of those um i also picked up a little funky little bin that i just thought would be good in the office it says jobs from the boss on it it'll probably end up with like pens in it or something but i just thought it'd be a handy little storage item and then i used one of these in the kitchen for my baking basket so I bought five baskets. I think they were maybe three, four pounds maximum for the most of them. For the five of them. There are only four here because I've used one in the kitchen. But I thought they'd be good for storage in my office. And then going back to merch, I do have the HB mug. If the glare from the window won't get on it. Um, so yeah, there is that one as well. So hopefully you enjoy that. That's the old logo again. So there is a new one with a new logo. But I've just decided to keep this one with the old logo on it so there's that one so i hope you've enjoyed that favorites video and hopefully next month there'll be some more might not be as interesting we'll see depending on how this lockdown goes but thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye